Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. Uh, filming another episode here at Little Bow Reservoir. This one is a short one. Um, I owe all of you something from our thousand subscribers and that is me flipping a kayak. Um, we've been waiting until the water's been warm enough and relatively uh, a lake that's relatively clear so that I could do it and it just so happens that it's a beautiful day out. The water here at Little Bow Reservoir is clear and uh, we have a pretty good spot we can do it in so unfortunately I don't have any excuses anymore. It's time to flip a kayak. All right so here we are. Uh, probably gonna be a short episode. We'll see. Uh, the plan here is to go out into this bay and uh, basically flip my kayak. So this is gonna be a test of a couple of things. We're gonna test out the life vests because we've never had to get them into the water before. So we'll see how that goes. Also gonna test out uh, the kayak. We'll see how much water I take on. And I did leave some of the gear inside, not all of it. So the dry bags are in there. Uh, also got the foam sea pad and a couple of other things just to see how that goes. But I did take off the fishing rods and the fish finder because I don't really want to get those in the wet, uh, in the water unless I have to. So, oh uh, man, I cannot believe I agreed to do this. I do not want to do this. I'm not looking forward to it, but I said I would and I am a man of my word. So my wife's going to hold the camera. She's probably going to laugh and I'm going to get wet. Let's get to it. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is actually going to be that easy because I've tried doing this before just to check the stability and it's pretty stable actually so um, here we go Ugh. See, these things are actually really stable <laughs> all right uh, Oh yeah, now it's gonna go. Uh, one, two, three. Woo! Okay. Woo! All right, first things first. The life jackets work really well, which is great to know. Um, I don't think I took on much water at all. I didn't lose anything but the seat pad and my paddle. Uh, which is great. So I'm gonna flip this thing back over and see how much water's in here. Oh, almost none. All right. So that question now becomes, can I actually get back in my kayak? Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is put my paddle back in. Put my seat pad back in. All right. My kayak is still floating. I have never in my life tried to re-enter a kayak. I stayed in kayak, so uh, the way to do it is to scoot up the bow and uh, I'm going to try it. If I pull this off first try, uh, this will be amazing. <clears throat> oh, got to get over the life jacket. All right, I do not even have that much water in this kayak, almost none. So here's the thing guys, especially you Paul Revere, what happens if you flip your kayak? You get back in and keep fishing, that's what you do. Oh, I'm glad that's done, I proved myself, got back into a kayak first try ever. Uh, can't believe I just did that. Actually, that's more impressive than flipping the kayak. I'm gonna check the gear to see if all of it's dry from the dry bags. And uh, we're gonna call it there. So, thanks for joining me. 
I have completed what I said I would do. And uh, if you guys like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and until next time, good fishing! All right, everybody, a little extra footage. I'm gonna check to see how dry my dry bags keep things. But as you can see, on my second attempt, I flooded the kayak. Now, as long as you have your bailing bucket with you, you could bail that water out, get all the water out of the inside, and then do exactly like I did the first time, get in over the bow. Um, unfortunately, I had too much water in there the second time, and so I wasn't able to get in. But uh, if I, now knowing what I know now, I would use a bailing bucket, empty out as much as I could, you could get back in that thing no problem which is crazy, I'm still amazed by that. But we also wanted to test out these dry bags, so um, I'll do this one first. This one just had some GoPro gear in it, and i just dropping it all over the place. That's not good for it either. Let me uh, zip this stuff up. All right, there is my headband for my GoPro, perfectly dry. Uh, there is no water in the bag. Actually, I didn't even know this. My fishing license is in here. Uh, it is in a, its own bag, but no water at all. So, dry bag number one worked perfectly. Let's check number two. This one's a perfect test because there's a roll of toilet paper in here. So, uh, it will be mush if any water got in here. Um, so let's have a look. Nope, we're good. It's dry. It's a little shredded from being in the bag, but perfectly dry. Uh, yeah, awesome. So the dry bags work. Um, pulled it off. We're gonna get this kayak emptied out and get back on the road. Thanks, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna have to swim it back to shore. I couldn't quite get in the second time. <laughs> uh, still a lot of fun, though.